everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression um, on the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I know it's not brand new, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it just because I've been moving and everything like that. So I finally found it where I am now and I am so excited to try it out. I've heard really, really good things about it. So let's just jump in and try it out. First, I'm gonna be applying my Marc Jacobs, um, what is this called? the Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I like this because it's just really hydrating on the skin. Um, I always like, no matter what the coverage, or um, no matter what the finish of my foundation is, I always like to have something hydrating underneath just because it gives that more skin-like texture inside of something that's super mattifying. If you are really oily though, then obviously yes, use something that is more mattifying because you need to control your oil. But if you're pretty much normal and obviously too dry, you definitely wanna keep your skin uh, super hydrated. Okay, so next we are, I'm, we're gonna be trying out the foundation. I'm going to be using a beauty blender because I already kind of tested it out on the back of my hand and it seemed pretty thick. So I definitely want to not shear it out as much, but just not have something that will really like cake it on um, because you can do that with a beauty blender. You can add more coverage, but I just like the, um, you know, the way the beauty blender gives coverage. So I'm gonna pump it out on the back of my hand. I am using the color um, zero sand, or sorry, zero seven sand. And there was only a couple of colors when I looked and I heard that these really run on the dark side. Um, thank God I tested it on my hand um, when I got home because it did match, but I was a little bit nervous because it was like the second to darkest one, I think. And I was like, well, I'm not that dark. So who knows that, but it, it did work out. Um, so it's kind of a weird color range. Um, so maybe, you know, it, Obviously save your receipt if it doesn't match, uh, so then you can return it. But yeah, it's really weird. So when it came out, it does not come out like a liquidy, you know, type of thing. It's like very, very thick. It's not moving at all on my hand. So now I'm gonna use the butt of the Beauty Blender and just go in. Okay, so now that I have it on, I really don't love the way that it looks on my skin right now. Like it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin and that's something I really hate about foundations. Um, and usually with a beauty blender, it helps like if a foundation does that, but this doesn't really seem to. But I am going to finish putting the rest of my makeup on. I also don't like using foundations as concealers. I know it's a conceal and you know, a two in one foundation, but I don't really like doing that. Um, just because I like different colors like in concealer and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put on concealer and finish, finish off the rest of my makeup and I will let you know my thoughts when I come back. Okay, so now that I have on all my makeup, I am still not a huge fan of it. Um, there are a lot of other foundations out there that I've used that are, you know, the same amount of coverage and stuff like that, that I feel like don't sit on top of my face like this one is. And I know it is like a medium to full coverage, but I don't know, I, I just don't love the way that's sitting on top of my face. I was able to blend it and like make it look how normally like it does, but I can tell personally that it's just not my type of favorite foundation. It does say that it is a medium to full coverage, which I definitely think it is. It says it's a lightweight, oil-free formula. I personally don't think it's lightweight feeling. Um, it, you, you can even see like you saw on the back of my hand how it did not like run down like it was you know on there so I don't think it's lightweight um, for long wearing and waterproof uh, or water resistant and sweat proof um, I haven't been wearing it you know for that long so I will um, I'll wear it for the rest of the night and I will write down in the description box you know how long it wore and you know if it kind of held up and stuff like that I'm guessing it will hold up um, a lot of these longer uh, or these heavier foundations they will hold up and after all of the baking and all the powder that I put on my face 
yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, you know, a lot of times when people are saying like, oh, my foundation's wearing off, well, are you setting it with a powder? Like, what are you doing? Are you using a primer underneath? Like, so I definitely think that this will last, especially because of all the stuff that I did put on top of my face, but I will let you guys know as well, too. I also tried out a lot of new products on my face while I was testing out this foundation. My cheek color is from the um, Makeup Re Revolution London, uh, their matte blush, and this is in the, in the color New Rules. And then I tried out, I don't know if these are new, but it is called the NYX Vivid Brights um, like Liquid Liners. And so I have this one in the color Vivid Fire, and that's what is my liner right now. And then I also picked up the color, what are you? Vivid Petal, which is like a lighter pink as well. And then I have the new, um, the two new uh, Laura Geller Fake Gelato Swirl um, Highlighters. This is Peach Glow, and then this is uh, Charming Pink. And so I mix both of these together as my highlight. I am obsessed with these. Um, I love Gilded Honey like everyone else does, and I know that the packaging is pretty small, but this stuff goes a long way, so you're not like having to pack it on. So you don't have to worry about the fact that it is, you know, smaller. I really do love these. I do like the liner as well too. Um, I'm just really not a fan of these really small like applicators. I am more of a fan of like a felt tip applicator because I get more control out of it. But that's just me personally. I do like that th though I have a liquid liner in colors. I, I love liquid liners and I or like I love colored liners and so I like that I have something small. I can even use it as like a detail um, on like black liner or anything like that. And for the blush, I love this blush. This is only five bucks, and you can see how big the pan is. That's huge. Like, I'll compare it next to another blush, like, like a MAC blush, for instance. You can see the difference of how big it is. This is like $23, and this is $5. So, I mean, from the, I got it from Ulta. Um, I really do like this brand. Uh, they are popping up like, you know, a lot more and a lot of people are talking about them more and I think that they have really good quality stuff. I'll also link down below the review that I did on their eyeshadow palettes that I think are like $10 and you get like 16 shades or something like that. Um, they're wonderful as well too. So I hope that you enjoyed this review and I hope that you uh, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.